never stops. <laughs> you get respite. Carly Zucker is not shy, nor is she prone to coat much of anything with sugar. So her hot take on NHL trade deadline day is a tad bit salty. In your gut, did you think he would get traded? Yeah, I did. I was fully mentally prepared for it yesterday. She says it was just after breakfast on Monday when the roller coaster of maybes for Jason began. Looks like Carolina's interested. Jason could be traded to Carolina. And then you go, okay, well, so maybe Vegas. And then maybe, maybe Nashville. They're having conversations with Nashville. And then I start saying, trying to rationalize to him, okay, well, Nashville and Vegas, they're close. Like we can, we can make that work. And then Calgary popped up and it's a conversation about going to Calgary. And that one was serious, right? And that one was really, really serious. There was absolutely confirmed talk about him going there up until the last minute. What's hilarious about this was Jason's agent's advice on how to figure out where he might land. At one point, his agent said, follow Twitter if you really want to know. That was double funny to an eight-month pregnant Carly, who learned on Twitter while watching for news that wild player Mikhail Granlund was traded to Nashville, and he got the news while his fiance was in labor. Do you feel at all one-upped by Granlund's fiance because she went into labor on trade day and you didn't? I do, I feel like maybe if I, I should have stressed myself a little bit more as, and, and not, I, I don't ever like to be one-upped, obviously. Is that so, no, no, I'm asking. I just the entire spotlight on myself. <laughs> Jason knows that. Oh, and speaking of Jason and how yesterday might have been on his stress -o meter. Did Jason think he was gonna get traded? I, he never ever shows me his cards, ever. Is that the secret to a good marriage? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so, just lack, no communication, there's no communication. Like, let's just, let's just not show emotion <laughs> and not communicate, we'll be fine. And finally, remember what I said about Carly and sugar and maybe a little salt? Because you are well known for your hot takes on your husband's hockey, did you tell him maybe if you played even better, you could stay longer? Yes, I said, why don't you play as if you want to be in Minnesota? Wow. Which is really harsh, I know, but. Let's step up that game. How does he feel about that? He just rolls his eyes at me. He's pretty used to it. Okay. Yeah. Do you think it'll make him play better? I mean, it better. Yeah. We'll see tonight. He has a game. They have a game. They have a game against Winnipeg, so we'll see.